everybody, it's Taz. Today I am going to show you, uh, this is a little bit of an impromptu review of a pixie style that I bet you never heard of before. This is Ellen Villa's Fenya. It's in the petite version. So Ellen Villa has this in both the average cap and the smaller version, which is the petite cap that I'm wearing. It's in the color Champagne Rooted. This wig was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review, so I'll be sure to post all of the links below the video so that you can go out and check out all of the color options, the pricing. Ellen Villa styles are always 30% off at Wig Studio One. And if you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So as you notice, I am in the car. My husband and I are headed down to my sister's place. She lives in the deep countryside. I always look forward to going down. This will be our 4th of July picnic. A few family members are gonna be there and I'm really looking forward to some relaxation. When I was deciding what, what wig to wear, I knew I wanted to choose a pixie and uh, this Fenya arrived at my doorstep yesterday. So, and my intention was to do an unboxing, but like I said to myself, no, I really want to do, I really want to wear this um, to this picnic because it's just so cute. Um, so no unboxing, but you're going to get a look at Fenya in the countryside. <laughs> Let's go over the specs real quick and then I'll be sure to include some shots uh, of this style down at my sister's place. Um, Fenya, a short cropped pixie style cut. It's a little bit asymmetrical. It features a monofilament part on the left and then is open wefted sides and back. So there's no lace front on this one. Um, let, me, let me remark on the fit for Fenya Petite. Uh, this is a true petite fitting cap. It's heaven on earth for us petite headed people. Um, it is smaller all the way around, front to back and ear to ear. There's no baggy cap anywhere on this. I'm a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. It just feels to me like a second skin. I would say this would be an appropriate, uh, an appropriate size if you are up to 21 and a half inches. Anything beyond 21 and a half, you'll probably want to go with the average cap. I have no way of measuring for large. And then it weighs about two ounces. It's really lightweight. Oh my goodness. I am so thrilled with the feel of this one. It just is the lightest density that you can imagine. And it's very light density in terms of the amount of fiber that's on this wig is very, very light. Um, each one of the fibers is very fine, which really contributes also to this light density feel. It's just wonderful. On the right hand side is about a four and a half inch piece. And then on the left, about three inches. Now it's the ends of this wig are so razored and, and taken down that it's very hard to really tell the difference between the three and a half and the four and a half. You're just getting a little mild fringe around the face. It kind of frames the eyes but it should not go below the uh, apex of the cheekbone. It has a cute little profile, um, about a three inch back to this, but it's not a super high profile. It's very natural looking. And then it has a two inch nape. I love the nape. Um, it's a nice razored nape. It really hugs the nape, the back of the nape very well. Um, throughout movement and everything, it goes nowhere. What I love about it is that it seems to cover up my natural hairline very well, despite the fact that it's only two inches. And I can brush it under the, under the ear. I can sweep it off to the side. Does a nice job of, of coverage there in the back. Now this is a monofilament part. So what they've done is they've taken the monofilament from the crown all the way up to the the edge of the wig cap here in the front but because there's no uh, mono or because there's no lace front there um, they did tie in a few knots there at the front just to make it a nice natural looking hairline although I don't think I'll be wearing this much off of the face in fact these fibers are sewn in in a way that kind of gives them a forward head hugging movement 
effect and you can sweep those bangs off to either direction. In fact, I don't even know that I need a designated parting space on this. I generally just like to fluff it up to enhance the silhouette and that's all I really need to do. Oftentimes, I, I go um, without a wig a lot in the house. And this just feels like I have to second guess myself. Like, am I wearing a wig? Yes, I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> um, this is kind of what my natural hair feels, feels like. So it's just super, super natural feeling. Very lightweight, very light density, easy breezy kind of a style. So we will continue this review. We're taking Fenya to the country. Zoom in on these fans a little bit. Raspberries. We're not done yet. Just Get Tracy up there. Way. That's my sister. These are my girls. Looks like she has maybe three, four, four roosters in there. So the chickens are molting right now. They go through a shedding period. Um, so a lot of their feathers are bare. They're not as pretty as they, they usually are. But you're still cute, aren't you? I used to call this the Taj Mahal for chickens because the chicken coops, there's little cylinders that they sleep in. My sister loves her chickens. Hey girl! <laughs> <laughs> 